Even so early into 2024, we've already seen our fair share of Nintendo remakes. From another code recollection, to Mario vs Donkey Kong, to the upcoming Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, there's certainly been no shortage of older games getting retooled for the modern day. Maybe the recent influx of remakes and remasters is an end of the generation trend. And as the lifespan of Nintendo Switch continues, we're bound to see more of them come our way. There might be more remakes in the pipeline after Paper Mario arrives in May, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now let me just preface the video by saying I'm going to limit my suggestions to potential Nintendo remakes, not remasters. And in order to say that, I first have to clarify the difference. I'll consider a remaster a game brought over to modern hardware with up-res visuals, but the bulk of the core experience kept the same. Look no further than Metroid Prime Remastered last year as a great example. Some new control methods were added, like dual stick and gyro aiming, and of course the graphics were completely overhauled, but not very much of the core game experience was changed. Something like the upcoming Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is another example of a Nintendo remaster. Typically, the games Nintendo chooses to remaster are ones that are still relatively modern, or are older titles that still feel great to play. Using Luigi's Mansion 2 as an example, the 3DS original is already a fairly modern game. So in this case, I'd argue a remaster makes more sense than a remake. With Luigi's Mansion 3's popularity on Switch, new fans were brought into the series through that game, so it was a good idea to simply remaster the previous game to get it in people's hands, without necessarily having to rebuild it from the ground up. There are a lot of games like this, so if I don't mention one of them in this video, it's probably because they'd be a great candidate for a remaster and not necessarily a remake. But on that note, a remake will define as a visual overhaul combined with gameplay changes to create a brand new experience using the base of an old game. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is a remake, since it not only overhauls the visuals completely with new textures, but it also features a suite of additional changes from the base game. We don't know just yet what these changes actually are, but they are confirmed based on Nintendo Nintendo's messaging thus far. With my potential Nintendo remake candidates today, this is the angle I'm going to look at it from. I'm going to mention games from Nintendo's history that I think not only could use the visual refresh, but also could be meaningfully added to in small ways to create a brand new experience that enhances the original. The first game that comes to mind is one of my most wanted right now, Super Metroid remade in the style of Metroid Dread, and ideally getting the Zero Mission treatment. First of all, it would be great to see this memorable game world translated to 3D visuals. Absolutely nothing against the pixel art on the SNES, that's a thing of beauty in its own right, but a 3D remake for Super Metroid, for me, makes the most sense. I'd love to see the fluid controls of Metroid Dread carried over, and seeing how they would change Samus' interactions with Super Metroid's map. It would be so refreshing to run through Super Metroid with new capabilities like the Samus Return style aiming, her slide, and the melee counter. I don't know if a Super Metroid remake needs anything as extensive as adding new power-ups like Zero Mission added to the original Metroid, but a visual upgrade along with possibly a new bonus area to explore, and maybe even added story content like a new prologue could be amazing to see. I'd also love to get a mode like Dread's Boss Rush added to the remake, so I could easily practice and play Super Metroid's fantastic bosses over and over again. And to be honest, honest, I think the same treatment could apply for Metroid Fusion as well. I think Metroid 1 is probably ruled out since Zero Mission already exists, and the same goes for Metroid 2, as Samus Returns is a game that's a great Switch remaster candidate in its own right. But when it comes to a full-on remake, Super Metroid, to me, makes the most sense of all the 2D games. It's the next in chronological order, seeing how Metroid 1 and 2 have both already gotten remakes. And that's not even to really mention, it's one of the most 
most widely loved titles in the entire series. Fans would certainly get excited for a remake of Super Metroid, and it could serve as a nice in-between step after Dread and before our next new 2D title in the series. Next is a pretty obvious one, and that would be any 2D Zelda remake. Notably, I think of the first two Oracle games, originally from the Game Boy Color. Based on nothing other than past trends, a 2D Zelda remake coming out at some point in the relatively near future is likely. Our last 2D Zelda game was the Link's Awakening remake that came to Nintendo Switch in 2019, so it's not a stretch to imagine our next 2D Zelda could follow the same trajectory. While it's certainly an argument that we might see a brand new 2D Zelda game next, we still have to consider the possibility of another remake. The question of which 2D Zelda game Nintendo would choose to remake is an interesting one though. The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons seem like a good suggestion. The Link's Awakening remake turned out so well, and these games follow in similar footsteps. But if we really think about it, the Oracle games being the next remakes aren't shoo-ins. There are actually quite a few fantastic remake candidates from the 2D Zelda back catalog, since the more open nature of recent Zelda games like Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom is so popular, why not embrace that and try remaking the original Zelda instead? That game could certainly use the visual touch-up, and some quality of life changes to the often unforgiving original would be welcomed by most. This is one of the more open 2D Zelda games out there, offering the player a great deal of freedom to explore. A return to that game, the one that started the franchise off, could be a really interesting decision for Nintendo to make, and the Nintendo Switch seems like the perfect place to try an experiment like that. But speaking of beloved older games, let's go back to the SNES with our next remake suggestion. I think any of the SNES era favorites are great candidates for a remake in 2024 and beyond. This could include, but isn't limited to, a faithful remake of A Link to the Past, or maybe beloved platformers like Super Mario World or Donkey Kong Country. But one SNES choice I think stands above all the rest, because it's probably the only way we'll ever see a new release for this series again, and that is a remake of a game in the Mother series. If we're talking about the game in the series that technically speaking needs a remake the most, that's probably Mother 1 or Earthbound Beginnings. It's a pretty impressive RPG on the NES, but it certainly shows its age today. A visual upgrade and maybe balancing out some of the more unforgiving aspects could lead to a fantastic remake. But let's not kid ourselves here. What most Mother fans want to see is a remake of Mother 2, or Earthbound. The memorable characters, the vivid locale of Eagle Land, and the unforgettable music tracks all lend themselves extremely well to a potential remake. Many have said it before, but I'd love to see Earthbound with a uniquely stylized art style. Something like the Link's Awakening remake style that we just talked about, for example. Something like this could be an amazing release for Nintendo this year, maybe this summer, since at the end of August, we're actually celebrating 30 years since the original release of Mother 1 in Japan. Next, I think we need to talk about the Game Boy Advance library. The G GBA is filled with high quality titles, many of which are graphically similar to the SNES ones we just talked about. We saw a great example of a GBA era remake in the Mario vs Donkey Kong game which came out earlier this year. We've also previously seen things like Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp and the Mega Man Battle Network Collection, so there's a lot of precedent here. For me, the number one is of course Golden Sun. It's one of my favorite favorite games on the hardware, and it would effectively serve as a revival of the series. This is a Nintendo-owned franchise that hasn't had a new entry since the original DS. A Golden Sun remake could include both GBA titles, Golden Sun and Golden Sun The Lost Age, and it could combine them into the one singular story it was meant to be in the first place. Sticking with RPGs, I'd also love to see any of the GBA Fire Emblem games 
games get remade on Switch. Maybe there are some better remake candidates in the series at large, but I think fans would be very happy if we got a revamped version of any of them. I think the best case scenario though would be getting a full on remake of the Japan only Binding Blade, and then a first time worldwide release for that game on Nintendo Switch. Another pretty likely Switch remake could come in the form of a Pokemon Let's Go title. I know, I don't always think of Let's Go as a remake, but it is most certainly a retelling of Pokemon Generation 1. If the Let's Go subseries is going to continue on Nintendo Switch, then Johto remakes could definitely be on the table at some point. Pokemon actually develops remakes on a pretty regular basis, and while I think it's probably too early to see the Generation 5 Unova remakes, since the gap between main series remakes is generally over 5 years long, and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl only released in 2021, it's not totally crazy to imagine a sort of secondary remake series. Think of it as a new pillar, just like Let's Go was. Now that the latest main series games are open world, I love the idea of using this as a base to remake a classic generation from an all new perspective. Any prior region would be great, but imagine Kanto, Johto, or Hoenn reimagined as an open world. Make it a standalone project, maybe with an experimental art style and a smaller deck limited to only that region. If Game Freak or an outsourced developer chose to run with a concept like that, I think we could have a hit on our hands while we wait for the next mainline remakes and Generation 10. I understand wanting to do an open world Kanto or Johto game for popularity reasons, but my top pick is an open world Hoenn game. With that region's diverse climates and terrain, it would be amazing to see it get a full featured home console remake, and a big step beyond Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which might not have been quite as ambitious as the Hoenn region deserves, due to hardware limitations on the Nintendo 3DS handheld. Next, I want to quickly talk about the Animal Crossing series. Coming off of an endeavor as large and ambitious as New Horizons in all of the DLC updates, clearly it's going to be quite some time until our next mainline Animal Crossing game. The earliest I could see that happening is probably a next-gen launch title. But what about for right now? Well, a remake of a classic Animal Crossing game could be a great alternative. Maybe it would make sense to split the Animal Crossing development team and have some of them work on a smaller Animal Crossing project as a sort of stopgap title to keep momentum for the series going as they continue to work on the next massive project. Due to both its age and its status as the game that launched the series into popularity, the Nintendo GameCube Animal Crossing game is a great candidate. A remake could be visually stunning and could implement the online functionality the original version never could. Plus, it would introduce a classic to a new generation of players, likely the millions of people who were introduced to the series through New Horizons. But here's another great option. Animal Crossing New Leaf for the Nintendo 3DS is one of the very best games in the series, and it was arguably the peak of the franchise before New Horizons became a cultural phenomenon. New Leaf, being pretty modern itself, is actually a good candidate for a simple HD remaster. But if Nintendo wanted to go the extra mile and remake it, restoring its online features as much as they possibly can with the lack of Street Pass and Spot Pass could work out really nicely. And then of course, there are the usual suspects. HD remakes for some of the hugely important Nintendo games throughout history, like Super Mario 64 and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Both of these in particular have been asked for for quite a while now. I have faith that both of these will happen one day, but will they happen this generation? I'm not so sure. Regardless, either one would be incredible to see and very much welcomed. A reveal for either of these would be an awe-inspiring moment. Each of these games have had their fair share of re-releases, like Super Mario 64 DS in the 3D All-Stars version, and of course, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on 3DS, but I think we're all longing for the day we come across a reveal trailer for either of these in an upcoming Nintendo Direct presentation. 
adaptation. But what do you think? What is your most wanted Nintendo remake? And which classic Nintendo game do you think we'll see remade on Nintendo Switch following Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. If you like this and want more Nintendo discussion videos to listen to in between playing games, then subscribe to the channel as I'm always talking about the exciting future of Nintendo. Thanks as always for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.